Why does Tuesday feel like it's become the longest day of my week? Stupefied! Yeah, I saved my challenge from last week from Andy, which was to pretend that I was being attacked by Death Eaters. So if you see me casting random spells throughout this video, that's why. Uh, how's Harry Potter influenced our lives? I mean, I kind of have the same answer as everyone else. Harry Potter is what brought me to know the other five foreign friends, so I mean, that's obviously a big part of my life. I guess the biggest thing it's affected is my love of writing, because I don't think that I'd be the writer that I am today if it weren't for Harry Potter. JK Rowling has just kind of created pretty much an amazing world from which I started my writing, and that's what I did with the Five Foreign Friends, and so yeah, Harry Potter has influenced my love of writing and kind of grown me as a writer. On the topic of writing, real quick, I did finish NaNoWriMo. Experimus! Yeah, I finished that yesterday, which is really good because today's been crazy busy. Like I said, Tuesdays have slowly become the busiest day of my life. Anyways, yeah, that's my short answer of how Harry Potter has affected my life. I like talking about it, I like watching the videos, I love reading the books, so yeah, it's just become a hobby for me and it's inspired me to write silver lining of the day, or the week I guess. Uh, all my silver linings kind of have to do with my job of substitute teaching unfortunately lately, but today was probably the best silver lining I've had in a while is the fact that I got a long term sub position offered to me for fourth grade, so I will be a fourth grade teacher starting tomorrow through May, and it kind of came faster than I expected because it's for a teacher who's on maternity leave, and the doctor told her she had to quit two weeks before she had anticipated, so I was called today and kind of thrown into it, and I fly solo starting tomorrow with very little preparation. So after I film this video, I get to go write some lesson plans, and actually you probably know how fun that can be. Viv asked us each a question this week, and she asked me where I would like to live, or if I could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? Quite honestly, I have to say that I like living where I'm at, I'm close to my family, I'm close, close to my friends, but with that said, if I could pick a place to live maybe like temporarily, I would love to come over to Europe for a year and just honestly live anywhere in Europe and just kind of tour the area. But I wouldn't want that to be long term. I like where I'm at. I want to stay in Pennsylvania. So yeah, that's my answer, Viv. Which brings me to Sam's challenge for me this week, which is two things that I want to do before I die. The first being that I want to get a book published, so I'm on a good start toward that having just finished NaNoWriMo have some more to write for my book and then I obviously have to go back and edit and then the whole process of finding an agent and stuff but that's goal number one. Goal number two is that I really want to meet the other five foreign friends. And I'm not just saying that because you know this is our channel but I've honestly thought about it a lot lately and just getting to know you guys over these past few months has been like awesome and I didn't think that the videos would help us to get to know each other as much as they have but I think just seeing you guys every day and just seeing your personalities has made me realize how much I value you guys as friends and how happy I am that we're doing this. Yeah, those are two of my things that I'd like to do before I die. So we have to plan a trip to visit each other. Maybe it'll be our reward if we finish this in a year or something. I don't know, but I do want to come visit you guys sometime. Uh, so we have to make that happen because it's one of my two things I want to do most before I die. And I need to cast another spell, but I can't remember. I think I killed all the Death Eater. <sighs> yeah. This, this is a sad excuse for a wand, too, because I'm not as cool as Ashley having like a million Harry Potter things. And I hope you guys all enjoyed the music that I played with this. It's called um, Oliver Boyd and the Remember Alls wrote it, and it's about the Harry Potter series in general. And I got it from Ashley because Ashley and I did swap music. I got her hooked on the Weeby, she got me hooked on Wizard Rock. So that's one thing I love to do is switch music with friends and just kind of. Um, get new stuff and hear new things and um, kind of advise my friends on what music I like and just kind of share that. So yeah, that's all. Sam, see you tomorrow. Hope everyone has a good week. And that's all. Bye. Tripping is totality. A few more things really quick. Viv, first up, we need to chat soon. Just because this um, whole channel started, we haven't even chatted once, so please find me on MSN. I miss talking to you. To Ashley and Brian, good job on the challenge. Thank you, Brian. I like the questions. And Ashley, good job answering them, I think. From what I know, you got most of them right. Uh, Sam, good job of sorting me into Ravenclaw, I think that's correct. Though, my favorite character to play was always Drake, and I do think I have a few Slytherin tendencies in me, so there would probably be my second house. And finally, to Andy, um, that was fun watching your family on Thanksgiving, and I actually have some footage of, of my family, and I might upload it on my personal channel, as well as my finishing my NaNoWriMo, so you can watch me write my last word. Viv and Ashley have been bugging me non-stop about getting them the intro video that I made, so I will try to do that. 
I apologize I haven't been home much. Okay, bye for real.